All right, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up firewall rules for your WireGuard VPN. It's basically the same as the other ways to do firewall rules, but some people might be looking for just WireGuard and not know that, so we're just going to get make a video for it and get right into it. Let's watch that intro. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to show you guys today is once you've created your WireGuard, I'll have another video on setting up WireGuard up there on the top. I'm going to be showing you how to block your WireGuard access from all the other VLANs and just letting it access certain devices on your network that you want it to. So, let's get right into it. First of all, you're going to want to figure out what IP address range you're using. So... You would log into your teleport, select your wire guard, and go into the bottom and scroll down, and you'll see a 5-1. Okay, so we're using a 5 IP address range, so the network is a 5 range. So now, what we're going to want to do is go to Profiles, and we're going to want to go to IP Groups. This just simplifies it. And we're going to want to create one. So you're going to create new rule, and... I got one already here. Do I have one or do I not have one? Oh, yes. Because I made one earlier. So we're going to change this one. Same rule. Control V. WireGuard. Hit apply. Because that's the WireGuard firewall. So they have the same address range. So it's a 5024. Because the reason why it has a zero at the end is it's saying everything on that five uh, dot five network is gonna, this rule is going to apply to them. So it's just saying every IP address range that's on that dot five network, I'm talking about all of them. That's what it's basically saying. Hey, then you're going to save it, and then you're going to go back, and we're going to create another rule, RC, I mean RFC 1918. Now, if you haven't created this rule, you're definitely going to want to do this. You di this is what's going to block your from all the other VLANs on your network. And if you guys want an in-depth video, I've already made one, how to set up all VLAN firewall rules. I will have a link up to it in this description up here for that video too. Definitely would want to watch it. Now just copy this as you see it on the screen. The other one, you know, the uh, your WireGuard one, that's just going to have to be whatever your IP address range you made it or it gave you default. You can either customize it or just leave as is. But this one, just copy exactly how it is on my screen, and you should be rocking and rolling. Okay. Next, we're going to want to do is we want to create some rules. So we're going to go back to our firewall and security. We're going to scroll down. I like to just do it in all rules way. You could do it in the LAN way because we are going to be doing it in the LAN, but it really doesn't matter. I just like to see everything. So I'm going to go down. Let's see. Because I already made these. Well, this isn't mine. I don't have millions of routers where I can just do this. And a lot of the stuff on this router is automatically blocked anyways. Because this is really routers is getting beamed to another router somewhere else. So it really doesn't have its own uh, dedicated ISP uh, IP address. So I don't have to worry about messing with anything. Or uh, it makes editing a lot easier. So, uh... Because you know, I can't afford to buy a router yet. It's not like I'm sponsored or anything by anyone yet. So I can't justify buying it for only a couple of videos. Uh, okay, so then we got uh, our wire guard right here. Block wire guard to all VLANs. We're going to want to do that. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go to create entry. And then I'm going to go into it right here and show you. And you're going to want to do a LAN out. And we're gonna you can name it block WireGuard VPN to all you know all networks, all VLANs, whatever you want. And we're gonna hit drop because we want to drop the network traffic. Then under source, you're gonna want to put port and IP great. We should be there by default, and just change it to our WireGuard firewall that we made in those port groups. Uh, next, you're gonna want to scroll down. Keep it as port group, then destination, and we're going to want to change that to RFC 1918. That's going to block get it all VLANs, and then you're just going to hit apply, and then it will bring you back to this. So now, basically, once that's happened, 
every network traffic that comes in, you're not going to be able to access it. You'll be able to access your network internet only and like your security and everything, but you're not going to be able to access anything on the network. So now, if you want to access like your server or NAS or something on your network, see, I mean, you don't have to do this for everyone. Some people are like, hey, I'm the owner. I don't care. I can access everything. But if you have certain people, you're just like, hey, dude, you can access my server or a business partner or whatever, but you ain't accessing anything else on my network. So what you'd want to do is we want to go to the allow rule because it's going to drop everything right now. All he can do is just search the Internet. That's all he can do. So uh, we're going to go to, where are we here? Yes, where is it? Uh, land out. We're going to do WireGuard to NAS or printer or whatever. It's all the same thing, whatever you want. And the cool thing is where you made those groups where we added um, uh, the WireGuard and stuff in the 1918 where you created those in the port profiles, you can uh, add a whole bunch of IP addresses is in there. So you could have a whole bunch of different devices instead of having to manually add one each time. Or you could do both. It's just up to you. But as in, let's just do description, WireGuard to NAS, LAN out, we want to accept. We're talking about the source is the WireGuard network. So the WireGuard firewall, we're just put, that's what I named it on the port profiles. It has that 5.0 my address that WireGuard's using in it. Then you're going to go down to destination, and I did IP address, just one address in there, and that's the NAS, that their NAS is, so I don't have to worry. Or if you had other port profiles, and you added a whole bunch of IP addresses in there in those port profiles, then it would be whatever if you just had, like, printer group, and all these printers were in there, so anybody who connected to the VPN could access all the printers on there, or you could have uh, TVs or servers or NASs, I mean, whatever you want to put on there, you can just have on there. And it's just the, the basically the profiles is just instead of having to make a whole bunch of individual ones, it kind of clumps them up together and adds them to one rule, kind of saves you some time. Uh, but you'll find that in that video I was telling you about. <laughs> in my, uh, my um, firewall rule video. Made easy. All right. And then you would just hit apply and then boom. They'll have access to WireGuard, and it was on that IP address. You do the IP address range, and they'll have address to all this uh, exact only NAS. This is all they can do. They can access the Internet and that NAS, and that's it. That's all they get when they connect to the WireGuard VPN. All right, guys. Uh, this is Miles from the future, Miles. I also wanted to make sure once you create your rules, you got to make sure that once those two rules are made that you go scroll down. And you find your LAN out, and you want to make sure that your accept is above your drop. And you can move it with these little sections here, and that's going to make sure it works. Because you want to accept before it drops all, otherwise it's going to drop it, and it's not going to even come to your NAS at all or your printer. So you got to make sure that accept is always before the drop. All right, let's get back into the video. But hey, I hope you guys like these videos. If you guys do, like subscribe and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos and you guys know i do these videos for you hey and like i always say watch every everybody else's video out there it helps everyone um and everybody has different ideas and different takes on things and sometimes it takes collaboration of different people's videos for somebody to understand something because sometimes people don't everybody learns differently so that's why it's good to make more tutorials to make the world go round. But hey, the most important thing is you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, and I'll catch you in the next video.